Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. This video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is an easy way of having fun uh, when it comes to betting on the football. Now, think of bingo, but without numbers. So rather than having 10, 12, 5, you would have corners, yellow cards, and goals, for example. And that would be an example of a line. Now, you can win up to £175 each game with Match Bingo. There are some games you can win more. And spend is only capped at £2. All right. So if you're worried about not playing responsibly, this is probably a good game for you. I do just want to give these guys a, a little bit of appreciation as well. Because 35% of, of the money they make actually goes to the Stroke Association. Which um, is really, really good, to be fair. Um, I don't know many companies that do that. Let me know what you guys think. Click the link in the description and uh, make sure you're over 18 as well. Hi everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV and welcome to another episode of Round the Corner. Another but the last because the 19th of May is here. Chelsea will play their last game this season against Bournemouth. How this season has gone, guys, is just beyond me. It's been a roller coaster, but there's so much to celebrate and be happy about because Chelsea have won a fifth WSL in a row, back to back to back to back. Is that enough backs? Yes. Uh, these are the days where you are just reminded how prestigious and amazing our club is, how much we have achieved silverware, how many great legends that we've had and there's a lot of goodbyes this weekend across the men's and the women's team mostly the women's team because obviously emma hayes is leaving but she's leaving with a bang you know we didn't win the quadruple but we defended our wsl title which we've basically dominated in the last years and we've also rounded out an emphatic win beating Manchester United 6-0. Emma's going to remember this one. The girls will remember this one. Us fans will remember this one. And it's just a great day. So, yeah, I'm filled with a lot of emotions this week because there's goodbyes and there's also things to be happy about. You know, you've got Cole Palmer winning Young Player of the Season. You've got Thiago Silva, who we're saying goodbye to um, on Sunday. Emma Hayes and oh it's just a lot guys it's a lot of emotions but hopefully we can top it off with a Europa League spot for the men's team that would just really round things out and yeah like I said we've been stuck in this tunnel all season but you know we're finding our way out and it seems that we might have found the light uh, but yeah guys it's, it's gonna be emotional it's going to be emotional obviously heading down to the bridge um hoping for a win but most of all just want a good send-off for Thiago he deserves it it's gonna be sad um and yeah never met the man in my life but I'm gonna miss him so much um and I'm sure that you Chelsea fans would all agree um what a legend can't say enough good words about him but yeah, guys, uh, let's get into the game, though. Chelsea-Bournemouth, a chance to round out what has been an, a season up and down with lots of negativity, a lot of ambiguity regarding managerial positions. Is he staying? Is he leaving? Which players are we impressed about? Which ones do we want to let go? There's been a lot that's happened. You know, making it to a final, making it to a semi-final, going to Wembley twice. There's... Yeah, there's been a lot, guys, this season, and we'll reflect properly, and we will do so once we know what the outcome is. But already, it's more than anything I anticipated from back in March. So my expectations have already been exceeded. That just tells you exactly, yeah, how crazy this season has been. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's talk about Bournemouth. We have really come on a high, come off a high since that uh, thrashing at the Emirates. We've really kind of crawled up since then. We, you know, we've won the London derbies that we did play um, and we managed to kind of bring our dignity up a little bit. So not all is lost. Um, it's all about how you respond. It's all about how you pick yourself up. It's all about what the manager does um, and the players. And the attitude has been right towards the, 
you know, the, the end of the season, the attitude's been there, performances have been getting better. Um, and there's a lot more to, to be proud of and to look forward to in terms of what we can expect for next season. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's not all doom and gloom. We've got players returning from injuries that we've just been deprived of seeing on the pitch. You know, you Christopher and Kunkus, who's just so welcome back, getting his goal, um, blowing up the blue balloon. It's what we've wanted to see all season. And we didn't really get to see him at all. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to start on Sunday and I hope he does purely because you saw how great he was, his technique, the way that he gets out of tight spaces, one, two touches and he's released the ball. There's no faffing around with it. End product is also there. Um, and just for the vibes, purely the atmosphere and everything, I think Nkunku's energy is going to be so welcome um, at Stamford Bridge. So yeah, hopefully we can we can see a fully fit Nkunku there. But in terms of changing the lineup, I don't think we'll see too many. Although I really, really, really hope that Poch is starting Thiago. I mean, he's obviously going to, isn't he? Um, his last game at Stamford Bridge, he must start. He's going to um, have a lot of emotions running through him as well. But Thiago's never, he's not a player that will let emotions affect his performances either. And I'm pretty sure, we're, yeah, we're, we're just going to be really, really happy um, to see him play. So... For me, I wouldn't make too many changes, but obviously Malagusto is now fit again. Trev's been in really good form. Badia Shields look better alongside Thiago Silva, but purely for the sort of the last dance with the Chelsea, um, kind of, you know, the old school Chelsea players, I'd let um, Thiago Silva pair alongside um, Trevor Chalabar. And if Malagusto is fit, he can start as a right back. And then obviously Mark Cucurella as a left back, because again, he's been really, really great recently. Um, and then well ahead, I mean, again, no surprise here, Conor Gallagher alongside Caicedo, because Conor Gallagher is another one whose future is kind of being thrown um, in the mix. Is he going? Is he staying? Is this potentially the last game we see um, him play in a Chelsea shirt? It's unsure. It could potentially be another situation like with Mason Mount where you're not too sure and then he's just suddenly left the door. Um, but yeah, I, I suppose if this is the last game that we see him, then that's another goodbye there. Um, but Caicedo, let's talk about Caicedo. I feel like he has not received the flowers that he deserves recently. I think he's done really well. He's improved. There's a lot more to his game. Don't know if it's the whole hairstyle thing that they're all deciding to change and whether Nicholas Jackson has had something to do with everyone changing their hairstyles all of a sudden. But he's looked pretty good. His confidence has improved. And again, I don't know if it was because he was playing against Brighton and it just meant a little bit extra because he was getting booed so much um, that he decided to, you know, really put on a performance um so again much much welcome uh and then this is where you get more options now because we finally got a little bit more depth um we obviously saw Mikhailo Mudrik come off very early against Brighton because he pretty much got knocked out on the pitch um and he posted that this was the end and his last game this season so he's obviously not going to be available for selection which invites room for of course I mean it's going to be come on Cole Palmer on the right our young player of the season we've got Nkunku who I think will be in the 10 I think you'd usually put him in on the left because he played so well there um but purely because I think he wants to try and maybe play Mads Wake in this one on the left um with Nicholas Jackson up top because you've got a lot of attacking threat in that in that little formation there guys like in Kunku Jackson Mads Wake and Palmer linking up imagine and if you can be clinical, you're looking at a pretty threatening game. I know Bournemouth will defend themselves. I know that they, you know, will give us a game. And it's never that easy playing against Bournemouth. I think Bournemouth are that one team I look at a little bit. And I'm like, mm, yeah, we don't know what to expect against you. Pretty sure, obviously, we drew to them at home. Um, no, sorry, away um, at the start of the season. So it's time to actually win and score. And if we can, yeah, round this little streak, winning streak we've got um, towards the end of this season, it will be a really, really great way to um, move into pre-season, guys. Assess our transfers, what's going on. Everyone has a chance to reset um, and really build on what worked in the last few games now. Um, so it's hopefully all up from here. Uh, but yeah, when you look at it all round, this has not been a terrible season. 
season now that you take into context everything that's happened the injuries that we've had the fact that we've done well in both domestic cups and got ourselves um to to go into Wembley twice um and almost just being so close to beating Liverpool um so close to beating Man City as well so we've really found our competitiveness recently I'd say again um and that's that's great long may it continue um but yeah guys let me know in the comments down below your thoughts subscribe to chelsea fan tv if you haven't done so already and also check out my personal channel nina's chelsea corner which will be linked in the description down below for those of you who've watched around the corner this season i hope you've enjoyed the show i hope you have enjoyed hearing my previews i certainly enjoyed doing them um you win you lose you draw you go through the motions it just comes with supporting a football club but you know what i would not trade this team for any other team in the world um so so yeah guys another season wrapped up it's been unreal hopefully we can round it out with another win and uh, thank you so much for all your support have a lovely weekend and we will see you soon up the chelsea